Welcome back guys to the channel, the only channel on YouTube that actually makes Metazoo videos. And today guys, I've been organizing a little bit again. Y'all can see the mess um, in the background. Very cool, very fun. I've actually been organizing decks um, by like deck type, uh, not just over type now. I'm going out there trying to build as many decks as I can. And today guys, we're gonna be opening up a product that let's just say is very good. Um, I think this is one of the best products in UFO if you're looking to try and actually start building a deck. Uh, I think it's pretty good and it's one of the best new boss monsters. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and open some MetaZoo. Ooh! All right guys, so as an effort to get better at the game and as an MZO, as an official MetaZoo judge, um, I've been going out there, I've been actually copying other people's decks. And uh, this is one of the products that I actually needed in order to make a Forest Beastie deck. Last week I went out and built a Green Fireballs deck. My man Enoch plays pretty well. Uh, he ended up winning last week's locals and we had a casual night after. And he beat, uh, he be actually beat Mateo, my second in charge of MetaZoo. So, you know, I, I took it pretty seriously. I saw that Green Fireballs was a threat and I was like, oh, I should probably build this deck. You know, um, so I built it, and I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's definitely a deck you can play, you know, for sure. But uh, let's go and open this up and see what we get. This is a Forest Elemental Queen UFO theme deck. It should come with one pack, one theme deck, and some other stuff. So we got a promo. We got a pack. We got the T-Rex pack. Oh, we got a mat. Uh, let me open this up and see what we got. I think we got... Oh, it should be like the other mats, I think. Um, ooh, that's kind of cool. You got a, on the front is the Cryptid Busters. You got uh, the Hedox, Men in Black, uh, Grays. Uh, I don't know all of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend like I know all of them. Flatwoods Monster, uh, Crawford's Monster. I don't know if you guys can see that, he's he's in there. Uh, Breakfast Aliens, we love the Breakfast Aliens. So, uh, yeah, let's go and open up this. We got a pack. We also got a theme deck. So I'm going to be going through the cards. Uh, there was for sure one card in there I really, really wanted. And also, I really, really wanted one of these. I needed a UFO rule book. Um, in case you guys are, like, playing or in case you're trying to be a judge, I'd recommend always going off of the latest rule book. Um, you know, there's a lot of new changes in between rule book uh, iterations. And the newest rule book will also have the current uh, verbiage, the current wording for stuff. So, what do I want to open first, right? Uh, we'll open up. Uh, what do I want for retention? I'll open up the pack first. Um, I think it's fine. We there's a good chance we pull a reverse hollow in this pack because it's not out of a booster. So, we got dozing off, lizard guy, werewolf guy, terraforming, alien guy, this guy, dino guy. Reverse hollow, seven thunders. Oh, oh, that's clean. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's crazy. I like that. And supernatural dark hole. Thank God I needed another copy of this MetaZoo card. Oh, baby. I, out of the bulk, uh, I think this card was picked up already, like at locals. I mean, like, obviously, right? That's such a good card. Are you kidding me? Uh, so here, guys, we got the forest elemental uh, queen. The main part of her is the fact that she has an arena effect. Arena. Casters lose an additional 10 LP at the end of each turn for each poison indicator that they are inflicted with. And then you can also generate one additional forest aura when he uses convert. So, basically, she's two aura pages, and also, you take an extra 10 damage per poison counter. So instead of taking 30 at the end of your turn, if you have three counters, you'll be taking 60 which is really strong. So let's go and open this up. And I'm gonna show you guys the cards I'm pulling out of here. Um, the main thing was the Forest Elemental. So other than that, are the Forest Elemental and the, there's one more card in there for sure that I needed, but it doesn't hurt to get more staples. I know there's some staples in here, so I'm excited for that. So we got this guy. Uh, we also got the extra copy now, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'll probably open it later. <laughs> uh, so you got, Accordion Eater. This is another fearsome critter. 
Um, I'm not exactly sure how good he is, but we might see him played. Is that five copies? That's crazy. Arkansas Snipe. Uh, do remember, guys, there was an errata on this particular version. There should be terror bonuses on there, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the old version had terror bonuses. This one should also have terror bonuses. It's a flying bloodsucker, and I do like the art. I personally just wouldn't even play it because of the errata. Personally, that's just me. I wouldn't want a judge call like, hey, judge, can you check this errata for me? I don't, you know, personally, I, I wouldn't play the version, but that's just me for tournament. Um, wow, that's a lot of Arkansas snipe. Whoa, how many? Wait, 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 wait. How many snipes was that? Oh, my. Oh, mama. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it was eight snipes. I, that's a good card. Uh, next off, guys, we got the mushroom. We got the forest elemental. The other reason why I bought the deck. So the main part of this is the arena effect. Beasts you control cannot be inflicted with status effects from opposing beasts. He's also a spirit. You cannot touch him. One, two, three, four. That's all we needed, baby. Next off, we got Invigorate. Um, I actually have not read this card. The next beast you contract this turn with a... That'll be a Forest Terra or a Sun Terra. Costs one less order to do so to a minimum of one. And they come in Awakened, 10 OP, 10 damage. So, a two or cost lightning in the bottle. That's okay. Next chapter, you'll love to see it. It's such a good card. Uh, Patient Insight. Forest Terra. I love this Forest Terra. Literally amazing. Uh, so, these are the new staple draw cards. As far as I know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, MetaZoo will not be printing bookmarks anymore. So, keep that in mind, guys. Uh... Patient Insight is a pretty good card, though. I think it's definitely a double-edged sword. Um, Patient Insight. This card is a three aura cost. If you're the second player that game, you bookmark three. If you're the first player, you bookmark one, and it cannot be put in the side deck. Now, this other card, next chapter. Three cost, neutral spell. You draw one card, and then you can put some cards back on the bottom of your deck, and you draw up to the same amount. I think it's I think it's definitely a card. And, you know, it's not awful. So I, I do appreciate that. That they're changing up the staples a little bit. One, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ooh, they give us a they give us a chunk of aura. That's good. Fourteen ores. So you can play this should be a forty card deck, right? Yeah. I think uh I think you'd be able to play a pretty convincing deck with this. So we're gonna go and take out the cards. Uh I for sure want the force. I, I like those a lot. Take out the forest god. And that should be it. I think I already have the aura set, so I'm good on that. Um, anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, next video will probably me be uh, making the deck. I'm I'm pretty much set. I have everything now. I just need to find one of my Bigfoots. I'm missing my Kryptonation Bigfoot. Kryptonation? I'm missing my Kryptonation Bigfoot, and uh, I just got to find it. It's in my room somewhere. Anyway, guys, see you later. Goodbye.